welcome back. Hello. To our channel. Why do that? Hello. <laughs> We're Tippy Travels, Cos and Meeks. Hello. Yeah, so I hope you're all enjoying what we've been doing so far. Um, we're doing smaller videos so that you guys can get a bit more detail if you need it. Um, uh, every little component part just makes sense. Just do a little video about each one and then when you piece it all together it just makes a nice sort of series. I don't know. Well that's what we thought. That little van. See so Fiat Ducato. That's our little conversion isn't it? Yeah. And what's next? The floor isn't it? The floor. We're what doing the, the floor. floor? I thought you said Keep going. We're the floor. <laughs> <laughs> we the floor. Next thing you do. I can't suck an old man. I can just see it now. <laughs> We're doing the floor. Uh, ply floor. 15 mil ply. And in the video, you're going to see how we scribed it in and how we joined it cut it and glued it down because we're gluing everything in the van. Um, there's not really much more to say other than that's what we're doing. So yeah. Shall we show them the floor then? Let's do it. Woo! Alright, so I always start off with that. Alright, so <laughs> got the old uh, GoPro doing a bit of a time lapse here as well at the minute. So and what I am doing now is getting ready to cut these panels out for this, the where the like the chair brackets are, so that the seats can fit in between these two spots. So you can see here, I've got marked out one section there and another one just ahead of it, and a little bit there. Uh, that's one of the permanent seats, so it doesn't need to have such a big uh, hole. Uh, these are going to end up being sort of slotty panels. I, might, I probably won't use this. Uh, but I'll just use another piece of 15 because I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to sort of get it all to work. Um, and how we're going to get the ply to sit flush with the other sections of ply is by using a biscuit cutter on the little mini router. So the idea is we get that on there and we cut a line all the way through and that's about 10mm deep, something like that. And then we have little biscuits, which basically are what they sound like. They look like biscuits. They're just little, uh, what must be five or six mil thick. And they're kind of like a, an elongated sort of shape. I probably should have dug one out before starting this video, but anyway, that's what it is. Um, and then the idea is that the biscuit slots into the slot that we've made with the biscuit cutter. And then the next piece of ply slots in as well. And then you put some glue in there and that basically keeps it all nice and flush. Everything your way. You're a crazy man, proper nut job. on the biscuits for the biscuit joints and uh, now what I'm doing is uh, trying to make sure that the seats fit in nicely uh, alongside the ply uh, so the seats have a certain clearance underneath them uh, which unfortunately the ply is just a little bit too high so what we're having to do is just route out some channels uh, which is what I'm doing here and basically the uh, brackets for the seats as they slot in they slot into this little section here and then they clamp down ways into that and then bolt down through there these these are the permanent seats but now I have to route out this section uh, so that I get the clearance for the seat brackets going uh, and that's where I'm at I've had a bit of an issue with this one <laughs> so as you can see the the panel that was in here is all nicely done. Uh, again, the issue with the seat, the temporary seat, is that the clearance is just not low enough or the ply is just sitting that bit too high. So now uh, I've removed this. Uh, I'm gonna tidy this 
uh, insulation up, uh, probably glue down another couple of bits and get that nicely sorted. And basically what I'm gonna have to do is make one continuous panel that's gonna fit inside here and finish flush with all of this. But I'm gonna get onto that probably next week because um, that's a little bit more involved. It'll involve me probably having to route out a rebate and then doing the same but inverse on the panel that drops in. So then we end up with this flush finish and that somehow I'm gonna have to work out a way of being able to keep that down without rattling, coming loose or being a nuisance when you tread on it. Here we go. As you can see, you managed to get the ply trimmed, routed and it's not a bad fit all around. I'm kind of happy with it. This one's not bolted in just yet, but this is exactly how I envisaged it going. Uh, second time round, should I say. <laughs> um, so now I've got this one to sort of mess around with. Um, so I'm gonna go and grab that and get that put in, just to make sure I've got everything where I need it. And then this piece of ply, which currently isn't glued, this one is, but this one isn't glued, uh, I'll take out. And then I'll put the biscuits in and glue it all up and get that set in and weighed down so that then uh, that can be going off over the weekend. Um, not much more to report on this. Uh, one thing that actually a few people have asked me uh, is why the Transit Mark 8 seats. And actually there's a really good reason for this. Because you can get uh, off the shelf seats for vans that basically will you know they've got their own floor plate which looks very, very simple to put in and has a nice finish on the top but crucially it's down to the size uh, so this is full width 900 wide whereas those other ones are more like 930 940 basically that extra 30 40 mil pushes us out so far that this single seat would then be even further over which would actually conflict with where the worktop's gonna stick out to. And the worktop's gonna basically brush the side of the next seat. I'll put it in now and I'll just show you. Uh, the worktop will ever so slightly overhang, so it's gonna be right up tight to here. And this is where the seat sizings came in really, really handy. And that basically gives us the full three seats and the full depth that we wanted in the kitchen. And then this comes out to make the walkway that will take you down to the beds and the shower room just behind the seats on the left. That's it. And I think I've said basically about a hundred million times. And I don't think that's an over-exaggeration. You can see that this seat sits ever so slightly further forward than the others. And the reason is very, very straightforward. If you look down here, you can see how much further out it is. Frankly, that's not particularly an issue, but this was the issue. These two seat belts are uh, restraints are rigid. So in order for them to miss each other, uh, this seat has had to go just a tiny bit further forward. And that basically means, basically, that it fits. To go any further back would have shunted this seat so much further over that it would be in the way. Basically. Uh, made a template for the back. This is uh, for the ply to go around the wheel arch. Uh, same template that I used for doing the insulation. Uh, obviously it's going to be exactly the same. I just measured it in just to make sure and it's all fine. So now I've got these two options. not a bad fit if this was in ordinary carpentry terms I would actually say it's a very good fit uh, but for this purpose I think it's a little too good so as you can see here it's a little bit tight there it's a bit tight there a bit tight around here and that's pretty much identical on the other side so you can see there's a bit tight that'll just squeak uh, and the wood obviously even though it's ply still susceptible to a small amount of swelling and contraction so I'm just going to give myself a bit of wriggle room there and there other than that the rest of it's fine this joint looks pretty good and I'm going to have my um, 
biscuits in there so that will keep that all nicely together. Okay, as you can see, uh, pretty straightforward, a bit time consuming, um, but this is the way we wanted to do it. We didn't want any battens or anything, so we've glued it all down, weighted it, uh, you know, used the old uh, biscuit jointers to get it all nice and flush and neat and level, and so far so good. I think we're pretty happy with the progress. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching our channel. Like and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe. Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> I hate me too! <laughs> yeah. That's nearly the direction you were going Shiver with. Me too much. <laughs> I've got a beard for you. Oh, I'm Captain Crapbeard. We should do one of these. When, when the whole van build series is over, we should cut all the bad things we've said into one of these bad lip syncing ones. Or, you know. Bloopers. Uh, bl yeah, no, not bloopers. <laughs> you know, you know when you say something and then cut them all up. It's like, ah, oh, like, like no jella. The balls. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like no jella. That'd be funny. Indeed. Uh, we would watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just to laugh at ourselves. <laughs> well, you can't take yourself too seriously in this business, surely. So. Well, that's it. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> you wanted a long goodbye. I want a longer bye. <laughs> <laughs>